this presentation mainly to answer the questions of new researchers and technical writers because what I experienced when any individual start their journey of becoming a researcher and opt for technical writing profession then they have so many questions running in their mind. Let's see what kind of questions usually they have. What is review paper? What about research paper? What is plagiarism, patent, journal, impact factor and many more like H index, item index, citations, references. What about Google Scholar profile and research gate? So I can say this video by me is an attempt to answer all these questions. Let's start. So firstly, we are going to talk about review paper. What is review paper? Always remember review paper does not present new experimental results. Okay, then what it is? It is survey analysis discussion of previously published research by others on a topic. Then you, you may be thinking or you can ask if it is already published by others then what is the benefit of writing review paper why we are going for this then you should know when we write a review paper we compile all the existing information on a particular topic then it can give an idea or we can say it can give an overview of current thinking on a theme right secondly it can identify potential research areas to explore right most of the times you should know when we uh, start our research work we go in laboratory even in a part of our thesis there is a uh, chapter review of literature so it is must and most of the times this literature review we publish in the form of a review paper and it plays a very important role when we are going to start our new research why because it helps us to identify new research area that what part is still untouched under this particular area of research thirdly if we talk about it help in drawing new conclusion from the existing data so we can see what part is still untouched and that we can explore in future also right so this is the beauty of writing reviews review paper are also called as scientific papers are published in various journals but there are some journals which are only focused on publishing the review and such kind of journals are called as the review journals now we are talking about research paper what is research paper always remember it is just opposite to review paper review paper was compilation of others work which has already been published and is available on the google if we talk about research paper so research paper always reports the results of original research suppose we have started our research journey either as a doctoral fellow for phd either as postdoctoral fellow or even for master's dissertation small project so i can say whatever outcomes in our work we are getting so of course that is representing some data which has not earlier been published by others so it means it is original piece of work that the data what here we have obtained we can publish that as a research paper research articles always remember they have strictly they are having these components like it is always divided into title abstract introduction methodology results discussion and then reference references like if we talk about title so it is very well clear from abstract in short what we have done and what was the outcome introduction in detail the background information about that particular topic methodology what kind of methods materials we have used to carry out that particular research work procedures results then discussion now we will be discussing discussing about the outcome results what we have got from our a research that in literature this information is available but in my work this is the new outcome so we will be comparing the things we will be discussing here how this work is different and what kind of in new information it is going to generate and then references right next you should know research article they are always published in a peer-reviewed scholarly journal right what is peer-reviewed that i will be telling you now we are going to take patent right what is patent always remember patent is a type of intellectual property right patent we can say it is a legal right legal right which is given to the owner and inventor when they apply for it for making using or selling their invention for a limited period of time limited period of years in exchange for a comprehensive disclosure of the invention so let's simplify it what is patent patent is just to protect the outcome just to have a right on the 
results what we have achieved in our research so why we will be trying to protect our outcome because always remember there are some research that lead to very good inventions that lead to uh, uh, novel things of of course for patent there is a criteria that anything which is novel that has not been earlier explored by anyone else secondly that is non obvious and everybody was uh, not expecting that this really can happen so non obviousness is there but we have actually got such kind of results and thirdly that is having commercial value so if three factors are there novelty is there non obviousness is there commercial value is there then of our work of our findings then of course we should get legal right for this we go for filing patent application and after some time patent office will review it will go under a proper channel it will first be published and after that it will be going under examination and then patent will be granted right so this is the information about patent now what are references right references always remember provide the information necessary for readers to identify and retrieve each work cited in the text of research or review article so in research and review article this information is always listed at the end references are always given at the end of the article so let's see what is next plagiarism what is plagiarism see plagiarism is very important with regard to the publication work in academic writing plagiarism means using words ideas or information from a source or someone else work Sim in simple language we say plagiarism means we are stealing someone else work right and without giving them any credit suppose we have gone through literature we found that this article is very good so we have taken some information from there we have included as such in our article without even citing their work so that is called as plagiarism always remember sometimes plagiarism can also be unintentional of even one or two sentences right being a researcher and for technical writing professionals it is very important to know that plagiarism can create serious consequences right when it is found so sometimes it is also done accidentally if scholars are not aware about this issue of plagiarism so to avoid plagiarism it is important to keep track of your all sources and cite them correctly these kind of softwares are available like turnitin which help us in knowing the plagiarism or similarity index in our article so if we are taking information from the existing articles sometimes we need to quote those information that this particular author these uh, authors have done work like this and our work is representing this thing which is making our work different from their work so we need to cite them there so for citation sometimes there can be unintentional plagiarism it become very important to check our file for plagiarism next journals so what are journals scientific research journals actually covers the publication of research articles so always remember if you are new to research that if you have done a good piece of research then you should know where we can publish our work so our work is published where our work is published in journals right a referred journal is generally used to uh, publish our research articles always remember referred journal contains articles that have gone through a peer review process this point i have already discussed now you may be asking what is referred journal whenever we are going to publish our work we should not see whether the journal is referred or not it is always given on a journal website now second question what is referred journal referred journal is the journal which follows peer review process now what is peer review process in peer review process always the article what we are sending for publication uh, to, uh, to that particular journal for uh, then always that journal send that article to some experts two or three experts they will be reviewing our work whether it is okay or not whether it is up to the mark it is really going to report some new findings then our article is accepted on the basis of the judgment given by reviewer by the journal so journal will only be accepting our article once reviewer has given comments which are in favor of us that really our work is justified and it can be considered for publication this entire process is known as peer reviewing process and remember referred journal follow this process 
नेक्स्ट वॉट इज साइटेशन राइट और वॉट आर साइटेशन ऑलवेज रिमेंबर ए साइटेशन इज अ रेफरेंस टू द सोर्स ऑफ इन्फॉर्मेशन यूज इन योर रिसर्च अर्लियर सम इन्फॉर्मेशन आई हैव कवर्ड अंडर रेफरेंसेज राइट तो साइट मीन्स वेन वी आर सेंग वी हैव साइटेड दिस वर्क मीन्स अ प्रॉपर रेफरेंस ऑफ द सोर्स ऑफ इन्फॉर्मेशन इज कवर्ड इन माई आर्टिकल राइट इन टेक्स्ट ऑल्सो साइटेशन आर गिवन इन टेक्स्ट ब्रीफ रेफरेंसेज इन द रनिंग टेक्स्ट आर ऑल्सो गिवन सो एट द एंड ऑफ द मैन्यूस्क्रिप्ट we have included reference list there we can look for this particular reference included every time to quote someone else idea or words always remember very important part citation is and citations if we are making proper citations it will also not be creating a issue of plagiarism now we are coming towards impact factor of journals what is impact factor so the impact factor is actually a subjective matter and i can say most of the times impact factor are used to compare the journals within similar fields like if journal is doing good then it will be having high impact factor so we can compare the journals now question comes how impact factor are uh, impact factors are measured then remember impact factors are measured by calculating the number of times selected articles are cited suppose in a journal a journal is publishing 1000 articles per year now question comes really the articles published by this particular journal are useful to people whether people are citing the, this journal's article or not if journal is very good always publishing reliable information article has properly gone through the peer review process then of course they will really be publishing a good piece of work by reputed research communities and of course their articles will be cited more and more and that's why they will be having good impact factor so higher the impact factor more highly ranked the journal is it helps in impact factor helps the researcher to compare the journals in a subject category and remember in most of the fields the impact factor of 10 or greater is considered as an excellent score while 3 is flagged as good and the average score is less than 1 but it still depends on the organization with which you are associated how much uh, pressure they are giving uh, to you uh, to publish your work in a good impact factor and it also depends totally on the um, type of research work you are conducting whether it is in demand or not and what is the scope of your research outcomes accordingly you can also send your work for publication in different impact factor journals now what is h index always remember h index is an author level metric that measures both the productivity and citation impact of the publication of a scientist or scholar right let's see some more information then i will simplify it it measures quantity with quality by comparing publications to citations so what is h index actually h index if we talk about it is here uh, the definition is given it is the highest number of publication of a scientist that received h or more citations so h index if we can say it is mainly used for author suppose i have published many papers and now i am going to uh, apply somewhere for a particular job for a particular award then they they can ask me what is your h index h index means h index will be telling the productivity of my work whatever number of articles i have published whether they are productive or not so how anybody can evaluate their productivity they will look for the citation of those articles citation means whether people are citing my work in their text in their manuscripts in their publication or not let's see with the help of an example a scholar with an h index of 5 had published 5 papers right each of which has been cited by others at least 5 times h index 5 means 5 papers with 5 citations at least if somebody is having h index of 10 means 10 papers with at least 10 citations okay irrespective of this whether the scholar is having 50 articles whether the scholar is having 100 articles from their h index we can calculate that this many number of paper he is having with at least this much of citations which really people are citing all across the world so this is the productivity this is indicating the productivity of your work now we are coming towards i10 index what is i10 index i10 index is the number of publication with at least 10 citations it's a very simple measure which is only used by google scholar right what is google scholar that i have covered in next slide 
so advantages of i10 index easy to calculate the productivity of a scholar right scholar suppose any scholar is saying i have published 50 articles but i10 index we can say is 2 it means out of 50 he or she is having two articles with at least 10 citations which really is useful and productive for the research community and people are citing their work so let's see what is google scholar google scholar profiles provide a simple way for authors to showcase their academic publications right it is a profile what we can freely make and if your paper is published in open access journal it means it is freely available then anyone can through your google profile they can also uh, download your article they can also get the link of your article to get an accessible copy next you should know you can check who is citing your articles graph citations over time time is given and compute several citation matrix see if i am talking about 2021 so what are the citations made by research communities this year of my research papers then of course google will automatically will be updating all this information right automatically my all citations will be updated so for last 5 years 6 years we can easily see a graph is there on the google scholar profile of a researcher we can easily see how much much their work are going to be cited by people right over different years and citations are always meant and all citations of a researcher cumulative citations of all research articles what researcher is getting on all publications that is shown here in the google scholar profile plus individual article is cited how many times that is also shown it also give us h index and i10 index are also shown here so you can make your profile either personal or public it is up to you so if you are making personal even then you can check all the updates regarding citations h index and i10 index for you and profile is updated automatically as i have earlier covered and Uh, sometimes if google is not going to automatically update some articles in that case you are also having manual update manual updation protocol to update your articles anytime now we are coming towards research gate what is research gate research gate is the professional network for scientists and researchers to share publications ask and answer questions and find future collaborators so i can say all researchers almost all researchers they make their profile also on the research gate have any questions then they can ask and people working in the same area they can uh, answer their questions right with regard to solve the scientific problems what they are facing in laboratory and so on so always remember research gate is also free to join and if you have co-authors so of course they can also be linked automatically to these publications in research more point through can also analyze our research with respect to views how many views are there on a particular article how many downloads are there and citations also